Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dustin and this is Autobahn Speed. Here next to me is the Alfa Romeo Mito. Uh, I showed you a lot of details about this car. Uh, you've seen me uh, jumping in the car and drive the first kilometers with it. I've also driven it on the Autobahn and in the night. So I think you saw all about it. So let's do a review now and see how it compares to other cars that I review. And the first question that I'm gonna answer is, is the Alfa Romeo Mito a fun car to drive? Well. To be honest, it looks more fun than uh, how it drives. Uh, in traffic, sometimes it's a little bit sluggish. Uh, you really have to be in the correct gear to go forward, or you really have to push the pedal and then at uh, 2000 RPM, uh, you feel a small turbo to help the engine. So it really goes along, that is no problem, but it's very short and after that, there's also no more power. The problem is, of course, the 85 horsepower of this car. Yeah, it, it's just not enough to go really fast and to drive fun. It, it goes in traffic. It's okay for in the city where it's crowded with other traffic, but is it really fun on mountain roads or on the Autobahn? Uh, definitely not. But yeah, I, I'm gonna give it five points. It's, it's a decent drive. Is the Alfa Romeo Mito a fast car? Well, I think I just answered that question, sorry. I'm gonna give it two and a half points. It's actually quite slow. On the Autobahn, it really didn't go that fast. In city traffic, it's okay if you don't go uh, fast yeah then it's okay but for the rest is it fast no definitely not so two and a half points for the top speed the Alfa Romeo Mito gets seven and a half points it only did 180 on uh, the meter speedometer and about 172 73 it was I think on uh, GPS so that's between 150 and 200 seven and a half points talking about the fuel economy well the Alfa Romeo Mito the 1.3 diesel is uh, very economical uh, it gets seven and a half points. Uh, it uses, on average, uh, combined usage, highway and normal city drive, about 3.6 liters uh, per 100 kilometers. So that is very economical. Also, uh, if you drive 100 in fifth gear, it's no problem at all. You can just cruise along and on diesel, it will just go without using a lot. However, on uh, yeah, top speed, as I drove on the Autobahn, then it uses, of course, a little bit more, but there's no car that uses uh, a little bit when driving on the Autobahn. But anyway, Gonna give it uh, seven and a half points. Is the Alfa Romeo Mito a practical car? Well, it has a boot. You press the button and it opens. And you have here some storage space where uh, you can put uh, definitely a couple of trolleys for your luggage. So uh, yeah, a city trip or just going for a longer holiday uh, together maybe with one or two children, that would not be a problem. Uh, however, then uh, if you go with four persons, then <laughs> then it's maybe a little bit tight but i would say yeah it's between okay and plenty of space so uh, let's give it uh, five points talking about interior of this alfa romeo well i would say it looks nice however the feeling to it is all a little bit cheap it's all a little bit hard plastic as you can hear and see maybe uh, the seat itself is quite good the seat sitting position is okay however it's it's a little bit hard. The side support is okay, but the, the feeling to your back is quite hard. And yeah, for me, I don't want to sit too long in it. So I would give it five points maximum. Is this Alfa Romeo Mito a cool car? Well, I would say yes, it's really a nice design. A meter car from 2008 till 2020, or maybe even 2021. So yeah, if they produce a car that long, then it's uh, definitely a success and people are still buying it, I think. So it is pretty, Pretty cool the design, I like it myself. Also, I like the tail lights, the round shape of it. It is a nice car to look at, so I'm gonna give seven and a half points. And then important question for the guys, does this car attract the girls? Well, I would say that most girls would definitely like the design of this car. It is Italian, so uh, it already has the image of uh, fancy, fashionable. So, yeah, I think if you bring this car to your Tinder date, uh, I think she will definitely uh, think that you're quite a nice guy with, uh, with a good taste. So we're gonna give it seven and a half points. And then the last question, is the Alfa Romeo Mito any good value for money? Well, the 1.3 uh, diesel engine, uh, this model from the early years, 2008 and a little bit above that, you can buy these cars for uh, almost 4,000 euros, even two, three and a half with a higher mileage. So I think you get a lot of car uh, for your money. It still looks uh, stylish, especially with the 17 inch wheels. I like the tail lights, I like the headlights. It looks different. It looks fashionable. It looks still modern. Uh, it's not that fast, but for city traffic, it's, uh, it's quite okay. 
So I would say that uh, you get a nice deal if you pay like 4,000 euro for this car. And that is the end of this video. This was the Alfa Romeo Mito. You've seen me uh, driving it on the Autobahn. I did a night drive. I gave you uh, my first impression about the car. And now we also did the review. It's collected a total amount of points of 55, which brings it now uh, yeah, under at the list. It's below the Saab and below the BMW, but I'm gonna review more cars and maybe there are even worse cars than this. So maybe it's not that bad, but at this moment it's uh, yeah, number three out of three. Anyway, um, yeah, that was uh, the review of this car and the end for this one. Uh, please watch the next video uh, where I'm going to reveal the next car in uh, Gaster Car and I'm going to show you some new details about uh, the other car that we also going to review after that. Um, for now, well, thank you very much for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you like the video and leave in the comments down below what you think of it. Also, very important, don't forget to subscribe so you always know when I upload a new video. And I'm going to see you in uh, the next video. Thank you for watching, have a nice day. Yeah, it's just not a fast car. It goes, but it really takes a lot of time. Now when we go a little bit downhill, we can push it to 170. There it is. Well, not 169, come on. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, ah, there it is. Yeah, that's the top speed of the car. So you can just floor the pedal, but it doesn't go any faster.